it's unconditional. No, no, no. I have been asked so many times what I use in my everyday life and what I use on camera and um, why my skin seems to always have a dewy kind of glowy look and I was the first to say I don't think it's because I have you know an excessively amount, excessive amount of glow to my skin it's really because of the products that I use and I thought you know it's interesting I think that so many women could probably look younger and and exude more more of a, of a radiance by using the proper makeup so I thought, why not share that, what I use, share my secrets with um, other women. So that's why the main inspiration for me wanting to, to create Buff Beauty. It's really nice for me to do some girly stuff. I'm very creative, so um, it was, um, and I also got to wear a new hat of a CEO and, and get myself really um, interested in business and, and learn how things work behind the scenes in business as well. So it's been a really big venture for me and it's been exciting, but picking out colors and, um, you know, and just trying to find that really perfect nude lip gloss and trying things on. You know, it's like a big, like, like a little girl in a candy store. I was thinking of names that, that kind of were the same as naked or bare or those kind of words. And I thought, you know, what about in the buff, like buff? Oh, that's where I came up with buff. And I know some okay. people think it's like, ooh, buff. Right, but right. I'm, but it's more buff, like it's, that buff color, there's a flower called buff. There's, um, you know, it's in the buff when you're naked. <laughs> so I thought that's probably appropriate. And then I came up for an acronym for it, beautiful, understated, feminine, and fresh. I want to add to the collection, but I don't want the collection to be too big. So we may add um, just a couple more shades of maybe another color pot for the cheeks. I might do a chubby stick. Um, as well because I think chubby sticks are great. They're easy. You don't have to get your hands dirty at all So um, we're going to add a few things and maybe do just one piece that might pop at night Probably I'm most proud of being a mother. That's my I'm most proud of my children yeah. Proud that they've ended up being at teenagers now that they, they've ended up being really very nice boys and and I think they're probably my claim to fame. Yeah. The hardest thing about being a mom is getting over being worrying and not doing things for them. I tend to want to do everything for my kids. You want to protect them at all, you know, at all stages. You you want to make sure that nobody hurts them. You want to make sure a girl doesn't break their heart. Mm -hmm. And you see things happening now as a teenager. I can see different things happening now. I guess you just have to little by little let them have their way and you know give them their space because at the end of the day they're going to have to be out in the world and that's our job to teach and to mm -hmm. and to lead them and to guide them and then see how we've done It has its good days and its bad days being a real housewife, <laughs> let me tell you. I mean it's fun, it's glamorous. It's, you know, you get to do a lot of things and and I've made a really really two really amazing friends from the show, Christina and Robin, and um, you know, which I, I probably never would have met them otherwise. So, you know, there's some great parts of it, and then there's some things that obviously aren't so great. <laughs> you know, I'm not one to really like confrontation or to fight with people, and um, I it's challenging in that way, but it, the fans have been wonderful. Like, I've met the nicest, most one, just amazing people. I can't say enough about it, and I'm inspired every day by stories that I'm told, and, and I think, you know, if there's any way of reaching out and helping people, I, I try my best to do that. Because when you're put in the public uh, spotlight, you have the power to change a lot of things and to help people, and so I try to utilize that and, and realize that's a responsibility that comes with this.